The Surf City Bait and Tackle Shop was for many years known as Bruce and Pat's Tackle Shop. Sue and John Castrati bought the shop about three years ago from Sue's brother, who had purchased it from the original owners, Bruce and Pat Hoagland, and Sue had worked in the store for several years. So in a sense, the shop had been part of the family for quite some time. I visited with John earlier this week. This is like where I used to come when I was a kid, and then even later, this is the shop I always came to. Um, so my wife and I running it, you know, uh, it, it's been ours for almost three years. We've been, you know, we're trying to still, we're going to keep it just that mom and pop type of shop, um, you know, friendly, uh, fresh bait. Uh, so how do you, that's hour. just in fresh bait. So we're sitting here in December and I noticed that you've still got a tank back there that says fresh eels and fresh oh, this. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you can. So how do you keep them? Well, eels are easy. Actually, eels you could keep in uh, almost just a, a, a moist bucket with a bucket with a wet towel. But we have a, 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 a live tank that'll that'll hold uh, eels. Um, refrigerator, which is good for like green crabs, anything that like any ref, any refrigeration will keep most uh, worms and crabs uh, alive for days, weeks. Um, the fresh bunker is what most people want, and that's going to be, from now forward, that's going to be a little harder to come by. As fall fishing goes, it was not good, really. I mean, yeah, if you look at our website, you know, every day almost there were pictures of fish mm -hmm. being weighed in. But when you look, compare that with the hundreds of people that were out there fishing, it, it just, it wasn't that good. Um, yeah, it's fun. Uh, and, and there, there were fish being caught, but compared to prior years, it was not a good year for striped bass. Um, do you help beginners if they want to come and learn how to fish and figure out what they're doing? Oh, always. Yeah, that's what we do. I mean, honestly, that's, that's <laughs> when I was a, a kid and I walked in here, I, I knew something about fishing, freshwater. I knew a little bit about the ocean, but I, I just remember my memory was that my dad didn't know anything about fishing off the beach and I was a one trick pony all I knew was to throw squid out there on a hook and I would catch sand sharks and sea robins and I would see all these old guys you know like me or even older and they they were catching these like striped bass and, and I, I would try to ask them and, and my memory is they were me. <laughs> They were not very friendly, and they were like, get away from me, kid, that kind of thing. And I remember walking in here once when I was a kid, and, you know, uh, Pat said, hey, Bruce, show him what to do. So he, he took the time, showed me what to do, and, and it worked. And I caught my first, first striped bass. So especially, uh, you know, kids, any beginners, that's kind of what we do here. We, we might not have everything in the world to, to offer uh, when it comes to... We're not a huge store, but we have we, we have a, a, a good good supply of everything needed for, for land-based fishing from this island, an inshore boat, and we always uh, will take the time to work with people, talk to, explain, and then in the summer, every Sunday, we have a fishing class slash seminar. Every Sunday out here, it's called Sundays with Bob. Uh, Bob Massa runs it. He's a local... A uh, guy that's been fishing this area for 40 plus years, and he—it's free. You just come out. To, we do it in the parking lot. If it rains, we come inside, and he will just spend the time to go through targeting, you know, everything that you can catch, land-based from this island. The job about those, but uh, but yeah, we do a lot of that. Uh, uh, a lot of whatever. We, we also rent rods and real. We rent equipment here. Uh, I'm not sure anybody else. Uh, does that so if people are down here and they want to rent a rod reel for a day we rent crab traps you name it we